Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again with another Transformers review. And before I start today's review, do you remember a few months back when I did that like huge Energon marathon when I was reviewing only Transformers Energon figures? I reviewed all of the unique more deluxe Autobots. I did Hotshot, Inferno, Ronimus, Prowl and Downshift. Although in one of those reviews, I said I, I, I didn't have Toe Line. But, well, I have managed to acquire Toline. So, as I always say, yeah, Toline here is a, a blue van, similar to Skids. I don't have him for comparison right now, as he's on my shelf, and I don't want to pause the video just to get him and transform him. That's going to be too much effort, so I just have to take my word for it. Yeah, this guy resembles G1 Skids with his colours. So here, we can see an Energon star, which was the... Well, one of the gimmicks for Energon. We can see this red stripe. And for some reason it goes over this ladder here, for some reason. The back, which is a bit gappy, but eh. The other side, the same thing, and the symbol indicating he can combine with the other Deluxe Autobots I reviewed a few months back. The top, where we can see, well, all this. And having a look at the underneath, we can see these treads. And, well, you'll see what these treads for in, ro in robot mode. But yeah, that's pretty much it for his vehicle mode, but I still have to show something. Of course, I have to show his accessory, which is this red thing. It has this little satellite dish, and it has this weird thing. And on my copy, the ball joint's broken because it's a bit of translucent plastic, but normally this thing is supposed to extend out, so if you'll just excuse me if I, as I get this back in, because seeing how it's on camera, it does not want to cooperate. So, as you can see, it actually extends out like so, and it has this thing which looks like a, I don't know, a, a shovel. So, if Tolan wants to pick up after a dog, then he can. But what you can do is you can attach this on to the, the actual vehicle. So if you want to have like a little broadcasting thing, you can. I think this is supposed to be folded and that, but... If you want this guy to be like a newspaper van, then go ahead. Ugh. Now, before I get on to this transformation, I actually have to show off something. I have to show off... This guy's cards, which I actually have. So here we can see his name's Toe Line. In the back, his strength is a six. His intelligence is a nine, so he's a, pretty much a smart ass. His speed is seven. Endurance is eight. Rank is four. Poor guy. His courage is six. His fire blast or fire power is eight. And his skill is six. So, not as powerful as Demolisher, if you remember his card, but still, pretty good. Now, one last thing before we get to the vehicle... Before we get to the robot mode, I mean. Yeah, my brain often turns off during these reviews, but... Let's just say, this guy's tra transformation is quite unique. To start, we'll take this, and if he can... Actually, split these like so, and then we actually remove all this. I am not joking. This guy's purpose is to homage G1 Ironhide and Ratchet in the sense that we have uh, the robot bit from one part of the vehicle and a little drone or rover from another part. So, let's get on with the rover thing first. That's where these treads come into play. As you can see, they're not tabbing in because they're assholes. But what we do is we... T 
take the treads and fold them out like so. Then take the wheels. Normally these are supposed to come forward like that. But on my copy, it's too loose to hold it up. So I just have it going as I just have it going until it slides with this bit. So it's a bit lower down than how it should be, but it'll do. So now we have this little bow platform. And if you want to, you can attach on th this weapon. I mean, sure, why not? But that's not how I display him. But moving this off to the side, let's move on to this bit. Which is pretty much just a hot side with nothing now. This is the actual robot. Now to start, we'll take these bits and lift them up like so. We take his arms and fold them out like so. These ball drones are rather tight, so often if you try to turn them, you'll turn the entire arm, so. There we go. Then take this entire bit and just fold that up until it sandwiches, like so. You want to have it so the power link part goes into that little gap there, you see. Then take this, fold it out, fold this and split it. And this is, well these are going to be Toline's legs. And moving the camera up, if I can, there we go. Moving the camera up. Take that, just move that up like so. Just orientate that. Here we have tow line in robot mode. So yeah. This guy's actually a bit better than Geo and Ironhide in the sense that he actually has a head. Which let's have a quick look at. If my phone will focus, there we go, we can see that, well, his head's actually a bit generic looking. If anything, he looks a bit depressed here. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. His head's a bit generic. Now, if we bring in his little rover buddy, this is pretty much what you get. Now, normally what I do is, I put the weapon in his robot hand, and then I just put him on like so. If its arm will actually stay in place, this is how I normally display tow line with him on top of the little rover, similar to how, how I display my version of, of G1 Ronimus Prime on top of his little battle station. So this could be like a little self-propelling wagon for him if he's that lazy. But removing his weapon, we need to do the powering gimmick. Because remember, this guy's one of the Deluxe Autobots. Remember? So here I have Prowl and Hotshot. The reason why I've chosen these two is because... Toline actually gets his name from an Energon character. Well, a character from R.I.D. 2001 named Toline. Who was just Machine Wars Hoist. So, yeah. This Toline is named after the R.I.D. character. And Prowl and Hotshot also were an R.I.D. Or characters named Prowl and Hotshot were an R.I.D. So that's why I've ch chosen them. So splitting them. Let's just get this guy into his torso mode. 
Unlike the others, it's actually quite simple. Just split them like so. Move the feet down and with your fingernail, fold out these little guns. And, well, the instructions tell you to lift this up a wee bit. Right, so now we have this going, but I'm not going to attach them to a hot shot just yet. If you remember how he transformed, well, if I can get him on here, this is not going to struggle for me. This guy can combine with himself. No, this is not a fan mode. I repeat. This is not a fan mode, as here I actually have Toe Line's instructions. And well, you see, if I just turn this around, here it shows him with downshift, but. He's actually able to combine with himself. So that's a bit creepy. But trying to get them separated, which is also a huge pain in the ass sometimes. There we go. If I just bring in a hot shot, I can just plop on. Mr. Tolline, if I can, because unlike the others, he's got, a, unlike the others, Tolline's got a bit of a finicky paddling port for some reason. And often it's next to impossible to line him up, but I have managed. So here we have Power Link Tolline with Hot Shot. I mean, sure, why not? Now, one thing I like is, just like with Inferno, this guy's legs don't form huge arms. His regular arms stay the same, and his legs become shoulder cannons. Just like with Inferno. But that's not it. Other Autobots are also able to combine with his little rover unit. So if I bring back good old Prowl, Brace yourself, this is going to be hilarious. You can have this going on. <laughs> so, looks like Prowl's being cut in half and is currently using this as a life support machine. <laughs> yeah, I... This is pretty much the substitute for Toline's leg mode. But if I just separate them... And I'll just get toe line back into his actual robot mode. Okay, so toe line is back in his robot mode. And pretty much, this concludes my review on this guy. So, do I recommend this guy? Well, uh, oh, sorry, I hit the camera. Well, I would say, sure, why not? This guy's. Even though he didn't appear in the Energon series, this guy still has a really unique transformation. And controversially, in my opinion, is actually better than G1 Ironhide. Because he actually has a head. And the fact that, well, he's a bit more posable than Ironhide was. But unlike Ironhide, this guy hasn't had any new figures whatsoever. This is the only figure of Energon Toe Line. But still, I would recommend this guy because I just find him really unique. Sure, his power link modes can be a bit disappointing, but I don't display them in I don't display my Autobots in their power link mode. I display them in their usual robot modes. So yeah, I recommend this guy as I find him unique and quite fun. 
So that has been my review on Energon Toolline, and this is Charlie Young, signing off.